going on everybody this is DK Dynamite and I almost don't know where to begin with this video but literally everything for DLC 3 just leaked earlier today and I decided to go out just to enjoy the nice weather since it's summer obviously and all of a sudden as I'm outside boom everything about DLC 3 leaked the map images of the map elixirs a new perk new weapons mini bosses the rush mode and all these different things and even the intro and outro cutscene audio were leaked as well and for those of you who are wondering no I won't be leaking or spoiling the intro or outro cutscene audio here in this video I'm a big ether fan I'm sure most of you guys watching this video are big ether fans as well so I'll of course do a live reaction to the actual intro cutscene when it officially releases later down the line or whatever trailer we get for DLC 3 later down the line as well but I won't be spoiling anything major in this video but keep in mind I'll be sharing images on screen of what the map looks like and the mini bosses elixirs the perks and weapons stuff that is pretty much public everywhere on Twitter or reddit if you guys are active on social media so basically we'll be going through the basics and I'll also be breaking down what I think happened behind the scenes over at Treyarch that allowed all the these leaks to happen so first off we have this brand new perk blood wolf bite which sounds really really exciting and looks really nice as well i have an image on screen of the top of the perk machine depending on where you put it and then we have the perk icon as well which looks fantastic uh, if i had to guess what this does it might be something to counter mini bosses of some sort not sure how that would work exactly but it will obviously be useful in both the chaos and ether storyline and i'm not surprised are seeing a new perk since obviously with every new release for Black Ops 4 Zombies or every new map release I should say we get a new perk alongside that but we then have some new elixirs as well we have what appears to be power vacuum but it might be a nerfed version of power vacuum since it looks like it says times two on it so it might just double your chances of getting more power-ups here in game we then have what appears to be secret shopper which is a returning gobble gun from Black Ops 3 and allowed you to buy ammo for whatever weapon you were using by going up to any one of the wall buys around the map but this didn't apply to wonder weapons unfortunately and i guess it's a shame they're just bringing back the same gobble gums you already had in black ops 3 instead of porting over the ones you already had unlocked from black ops 3 but it's whatever it's microtransactions it's all up to activision and Treyarch probably wanted to do more but just couldn't so they're just bringing over some of the older gobble gums that we already experienced back in a previous black ops game but when it comes to new weapons those also leaked as well and I'm assuming they're going to be releasing as part of reserves that can be unlocked for use in all game modes, multiplayer, blackout, and zombies. So we first up have the crossbow, which is exactly like the crossbow we had back in Black Ops 2. So I guess it's reminiscing on the fact that the upcoming zombie map was from Black Ops 2. So why not bring some weapons from that game as well? But we then have the M16, which looks like a direct port from the M16 we saw in Black Ops 3 multiplayer. Now we then have the Argus, which was a shotgun back in Black Ops 3, also using zombies, wasn't too bad, hopefully it gets a little bit of a buff within Black Ops 4, but once again those weapons are probably going to be locked behind reserves or the next tiers within the next contraband stream, which will be available with the beginning of Operation 5 starting on July 9th, we'll just have to wait and see, but we also got an image of what appears to be the Ultra Weapon Bribe, and based on some of these images, it's really looking like you'll be able to purchase an Ultra Weapon Bribe within Black Ops 4, which to me is is probably going to be similar to the triple play but I could be wrong about that. I'm assuming maybe you can buy an ultra weapon bribe maybe once or twice and then you can unlock a free one by going through the contraband stream or a special order as well but we'll have to see how they handle that system going forward but the ultra weapon bribe as I covered previously here on the channel will guarantee you a brand new ranged weapon not a mark 2 so that's great for everybody out there who's interested in some of the new weapons they just added in to Black Ops 4 with the Days of Summer event but let's jump into a lot of the juicy stuff here we then have the actual map which we can now confirm is actually nuketown so of course they didn't give us a name of the map although they gave us something that could be the name but we'll bring that up in a bit we have a beautiful layout of what appears to be nuketown during the evening we can see a part for a teleporter amplifier there on top of the greenhouse this looks absolutely amazing you can actually see it's not pitch black like the original nuketown was and i think it's gonna look great 
with Black Ops 4's engine. But once again, this may just be a section of the map. The map may not just be Nuketown. It could be a brand new area, and then you teleport to Nuketown, or as previous theories suggest, it'll be Nuketown with transit elements. You'll have the bus, Ted the bus driver, maybe the Avogadro, maybe you could teleport to other areas of transit as well. We have no idea how they're going to handle this map, but I'm really getting a vibe similar to Revelations, maybe tackling the maps that weren't featured in the original Revelations, except this time we'll be at Nuketown, Transit, maybe we'll go to Die Rise for a second, uh, maybe the moon for something. I think this is really going to be Revelations 2.0 in a way, but we'll just have to see whether or not that's true when we get an official trailer for this upcoming map. But we then got a picture of what appears to be the Rush mode for this map as well, and the fact that they're showing Nuketown again with the Rush symbol really makes me feel like you'll be spawning in on Nuketown, and then if there are any other areas to go to, like Transit or some other Victus maps, you'll be going to that later throughout the Easter egg or throughout gameplay, but you'll probably be spawning in on Nuketown. So depending on how those mechanics work with different maps of some sort, Rush is going to play very, very interesting. Now we then got to look at some of the new mini bosses, which are looking very, very, very feisty. We have a Nova 6 crawler who appears to be electrocuted, so I'm assuming Treyarch's going to be experimenting with some different mini bosses or some different vermin here on this map, and either the Nova 6 is electrified because it's a new mini boss, or maybe the Avogadro is on this map and is able to electrify some of the vermin in Nova 6 to make them that way. We just have no idea. We then have what appears to be a giant and very scary looking Nova 6 crawler with two legs and a giant ass head. Something very different. Looks very, very creepy. And I think Zombies is definitely in for a treat with this new map. We then have a Hellhound, also the electricity around it. So electricity seems to be a running theme for this new version of Nuketown. So I would not be surprised to see the Avogadro and Treyarch themselves also tweeted out this picture of Alpha Omega. So theories out there are saying that Alpha could be standing for Nuketown after the actual nuke goes off. And we then have Omega, which could be standing for Transit pre-explosion. So we could be seeing a beautiful version of Transit within this map somehow, either teleporting to it, taking the bus to it. We just have no idea what Alpha Omega means, but the map itself could be named Alpha Omega. We just have no idea. As I said earlier, this could be a name drop for the actual map. We just don't know it yet, but we'll get a confirmation, obviously, when a reveal trailer is released to the entire world. But for all we know, Alpha Omega could be the name of DLC 3 in Black Ops 4 Zombies, and it could be representing the fact that we're going to be at an Alpha section of the map and an Omega section of the map. And if it's Revelations 2.0, then we're going to be teleporting to all the areas we didn't go to within the first Revelations for some apparent reason to prepare for the Great War against Dr. Monty. But as far as all that goes, the audio for the intro and outro leaked unfortunately and I won't be spoiling that here in this video and I'll obviously be talking about it once the map actually releases because there's a lot to take in when you actually listen to the audio but I would not recommend listening to it if you are a big fan of the ether I just did because I'm a content creator and I'm really hyped and I'm really impatient when it comes to the ether returning but for those of you out there who are more patient than me and love the ether don't spoil it for yourself just wait for the map to release so you can be mind blown by all the crazy surprises twists and turns just wait for it but in terms of why I think this is happening behind the scenes, I'm really getting the impression that something is going terribly wrong behind the scenes with QA testing, with developers, with mappers, with design artists. Something is going wrong and obviously a lot of that has to do with the shuffle being made right now to make Call of Duty 2020 happen. Obviously being led by Treyarch while they have Sledgehammer and Raven Software as support studios. A lot is going on behind the scenes so maybe as a result of that they have a rookie or somebody very inexperienced at the helm putting the code into the PC files but somehow did it incorrectly to the point where it's just revealed to the public where anybody can go ahead and data mine all this information. Blundell himself literally told YouTubers before the game released that they found a new way and they were fully aware of these issues with data mining. They were fully aware of how much controversy it starts that they found a way to release content a lot more secretly so that they can obviously not deal with a lot of these big leaks with audio and cutscenes and images all being found before the map is even revealed to the public. He himself said said that so either he's lying and definitely doesn't want to tell us the truth about what's going on or he's being sincere about it and something out of his jurisdiction is happening even though he's studio head something's happening to where somebody's getting put in charge of something that they're not experienced with and they're not following the precautions and protocols they're supposed to to avoid this data mining either that's happening or somebody is actually trolling over at Treyarch and absolutely wants all this to be leaked before the map is even revealed because I can't even imagine how much work was put into this to make sure the ether is wrapped up properly all of a sudden everything just leaks so i'm sure either somebody messed 
yourself because they don't know what they're doing and it's no one's fault even the studio head himself Blundell it's not even his fault because of all the shuffling happening with Activision and Sledgehammer and Raven it's not even his fault to the point where stuff like this is happening so it's either that or somebody absolutely wants all this to be released to the public because there's no other reason why the same mistake that's happened countless and countless times with Moon, Origins, Dead of the Night, Ancient Evil there's no reason why this should still be happening in 2019. Now in regards to the story without going into any spoiler territory all I will say is that no matter what they do and how they end the Ether storyline not everybody will be impressed not everybody will be pleased not everybody will be satisfied with how they handle wrapping up an 11 year arc but what I will say is for hardcore Ether fans out there you guys are definitely in for a treat and I think what they're doing right now is they're wrapping up all loose ends and retconning anything that doesn't make sense to ensure that there is an answer for absolutely everything that we don't fully understand with the Ether storyline. That's kind of the interpretation I got after listening to the intro and outro cutscene, but you guys will definitely be interested in hearing that when you actually see the cutscene for yourself in the game or whenever they release it on YouTube. But that is about it. This has been DK Dynamite. Check all links down below in the description. And if you don't want to see any spoilers or hear any audio, stay off Reddit and Twitter. But for the meantime, a lot of images of this map and all the new features coming to Black Ops 4 are already on Twitter and have been shared thanks to data miners like Quantum Z, Josh Wukul, etc. But that is about it. Really hope you've enjoyed and peace out, everyone. May they all have mercy on my soul.